Pretty wild the first job opener I took was Sam's. <laughs> Wait, who? On November 17th, 2023, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT, was fired by their board out of nowhere. This is probably the biggest AIT in a long time. Everyone's left confused, theories started booming everywhere, the situation's a complete mess, and just what had happened? OpenAI just recently had a really successful dev day. How did all that escalate to a situation like this? Even Greg Brockman, the CTO, resigned soon after too. Saying that he quits today and is thankful for the time that they've been through together all the way from eight years ago in his apartment. So to find out why, I've quickly done some intensive Twitter and Reddit scrolling and here's a quick rundown on what happened and what might have happened. So around 12.30 p.m. Pacific time today, OpenAI released a blog that says that OpenAI announces leadership transition, where Sam Altman was removed from the position of CEO, saying that after a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board no longer has confidence in his ability to continue leading OpenAI, and so he was removed from the position of CEO. The blog followed by stating artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity and basically some safety statements. Then the company's chief technology officer, Mira Murati, will serve as interim CEO and potentially also the interim CTO as Greg Brockman resigned too. You might have seen this clip of people showing this awkward interaction between the Microsoft CEO that invested 50% in OpenAI with Sam Altman. Let me just play it real quick. How is Microsoft thinking about the partnership currently? Uh, first. <laughs> We love you guys. <laughs> no, look, it's, it's, it's been fantastic for us. In fact, I remember the first time I think you reached out and said, hey, do you have some Azure credits? We've come a long way from there. Uh, Thank you for those. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. But the thing is, Microsoft only learned about this the same time the whole world learned about it. So at that time, Microsoft CEO didn't even know. So the thing is, OpenAI didn't let Microsoft be on the board of directors even after this large amount of money they invested in them. So wait, who's on the board then? It turns out that uh, if you actually read the blog, which apparently a lot of people didn't, as you can see on Twitter, the board is only made up of six people. Three that works in OpenAI, which are Greg Brockman, the CTO, Ilya Skutsever, the chief scientific officer, Sam Altman, the CEO himself, and three other non-OpenAI employees, which are Cora CEO Adam D'Angelo, technology entrepreneur Tasha McCauley, and Helen Toner from Georgetown Center for Security and Emerging Technology. So to get majority vote, as this guy pointed out, it means that Greg Brockman, Sam Altman was the only ones rejecting this decision, which means Ilya Skutsever said yes, and the other three non-OpenAI employees, which also said yes. So some people call this Ilya's revenge arc, maybe because he can now align his AIs properly. But yeah, the case of OpenAI is a bit interesting since they started as a non-profit org. It was initially funded by a few people with the famous Twitter guy, Elon Musk, which he put in around 50 million. Then in 2019, OpenAI restructured to ensure that they could raise capital while preserving the non-profit's mission. So the majority of the board is independent and the independent director Directors do not hold any equity in OpenAI. They said that it's the board's responsibility to make sure that OpenAI is going in the right direction and there is no money involved for these board members. So this clip from the Congress hearing a few months back actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. You make a lot of money, do you? I make, no. Uh, I'm paid enough for health insurance. I have no equity in OpenAI. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You need a lawyer. I need a what? You need a lawyer or an agent. I, I'm doing this because I love it. So far, there are a few reasonable or potential true theories that's going around about this removal. And the main speculation is that the removal happened because Sam Altman took OpenAI from a non-profit company to a seemingly for-profit company. Elon Musk also recently stated about this too on November 6th. There are theories going around that it's because Sen Altman became more profit driven like making GPT stores and revenue sharing that was introduced in OpenAI Dev Day, but that's just speculation. However, it would make a lot of sense if the lack of communication, which is the main reason he was kicked out of, is because he is developing these revenue products left and right and not addressing to the other board members. So taking open source company to close source and for profit is the main speculation in this one, especially there were a non-profit. There was 
was also this other anonymous redditor that created their account today to address this situation too. In it, they share some more context about Sam and the relationship with the company. They said that engineers raised concerns about rushing tech to market without good safety guardrails and not to capitalize ChatGPT's hype, but Sam charged ahead and didn't listen to their concerns. While this comment is anonymous and should be taken with a grain of salt, it is still pretty reasonable and aligns with what most people were theorizing about. It also said that the GPT store and revenue sharing crossed the line and their core value was at risk, which led to the board to remove him as CEO. Greg Brockman, the CTO, also faced some accountability, so they both stepped down uh, while well, in the same day, but not at the same time. The Redditor also claimed that Greg Brockman enabled Sam Altman, which is interesting. The last part also mentioned that Mira Murati will become CEO, which they did not specify as an interim, so they will hope they can go on an engineering-driven mission of developing AI safely. So yeah, that's basically the whole gist of the situation. Some people say that this might be a catastrophe. Okay, so right before I was going to post the video, Greg Brockman has shared what had happened. He said that last night, Sam got a text from Ilya asking to talk at noon Friday. Sam joins a Google Meet and the whole board except for Greg was there. Ilya told Sam he was being fired and that the news was going out very soon. Then at 12.19 p.m., which if you recall what I said just now, it was like 10 minutes before the OpenAI announcement, Greg got a text from Ilya asking for a quick call and at 12.23, Ilya sent a Google Meet link and Greg was told that he was being removed from the board but was vital to the company and would retain his role and that Sam had been fired. And around the time, OpenAI published a blog post, which is what we just saw. And as far as they know, the management team was made aware of this shortly after. Other than Myra, who is now the interim of CEO and CTO, has only found out the night prior. But yeah, that's a very crazy timeline. And some people are saying that time travelers came back in time to stop AGI. But I mean, if this idea entertains you, sure, why not? But anyways, this is just a quick breakdown on this entire situation. I'm also starting a newsletter similar to my AI timeline video series, kind of like a replacement for that. So you can go get your latest noise-free, high-quality, no BS ML research breakdown and news there. You can sign up for free with the link down in the description. Shout out to Andrew Lascellias, Chris Ledoux, Alex J, Alex Maurice, Megulam, Deacon, Fifao, Daddy Wen, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Uh, follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.